All right, good morning. Today is day three of our Trained in 30 training, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about the back office. Um, when you signed up as a wholesale ambassador, you get a back office area. It actually looks a lot like the customer back office too, so they're pretty similar. Um, but I'm gonna go through and show you a few important things that you guys need to know. Uh, first, you go to backoffice.plexusworldwide.com. If you've never been here before and you've never logged in, you'll have to register first. So you'll click down here under register and you'll need your ambassador ID number. If you do not have that ID number, you can contact your sponsor and they can look it up in their back office for you. <clears throat> Once you get registered, you're able to uh, log in with your username and password that you set up. <clears throat> Once you log in, it's now taking us to the shopping area. Um, I'm going to click over to the dashboard quickly first. And the dashboard is just an overview of everything that's going on in your back office. Um, the first thing I want to take you to is down here to this qualifications area. We have three little ovals down here, and the first one says PV, and that stands for product volume, and that's going to be any um, personal orders that you place or any customers that you have underneath you, so any preferred or retail customers all go into your PV, your product volume for the month. Every um, product that we have in our line has a different PV amount, and usually it's a little bit less than the dollar amount. You can see those amounts when you look on at the individual products. Um, also, when you check out on your invoice, there is a PV total at the bottom and the actual dollar amount total too. So you can kind of check your PV there before you sign out. Um, you need to have 100 PV to be commission qualified for the month. So this oval will be red if you do not have 100 PV for the month yet. Once you reach 100 PV, it will turn green. And so that will tell you that you are qualified for commissions. Um, the to be, to be qualified for commissions to get paid the following month, you have to have 100 PV. So I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can do that every month by setting up your convenience order. And the convenience order is not only beneficial for somebody who's working the business, but it's also beneficial for every customer. We want you to be consistent on the products and we want you to be using these products for a minimum of three months. I tell all of my customers, they, commit to this for three months. So it's really important to get that convenience order set up so you have your product showing up every 30 days. Um, all of our products are pretty much on a 30-day schedule. Um, so you're gonna need those products every 30 days. And if you get to the end and you're running low on products and you're having to wait a couple days for your products to show up, um, that's not good. You wanna be consistent. You wanna give your time body, to, you want to give your body time to heal and the products to work. So I really suggest setting up these convenience orders. Um, go to shopping, go to convenience order, and you'll see I have one in place here, but if you, have, if you didn't set one up when you signed up, it's really easy to set up. You just go to add new convenience order. It'll give you the two options for a convenience order. We have conditional and unconditional. And right there, it tells you the description of both of them and the differences. So a conditional order is going to only ship if you need an extra 100 PV in um, volume. And so if you haven't reached 100 PV by the date that your convenience order is set up to ship, it will ship that order to make sure you are commission qualified. So it's kind of like an insurance policy. Um, just to make sure you're gonna get paid that next month if you have um, some PV sitting there, you have ambassadors underneath you, that type of thing. Um, if you set it up unconditional, it's going to ship every month on that date that you have set up, no matter what, unless you delete it or cancel it or change your date. So we're gonna go ahead and set up an unconditional. And up here you'll see there's convenience order bundles. These are just bundles that Plexus has already provided for you that will reach 100 PV. So you could choose one of those or you could choose from the individual product line and change up your shipment every month. You are not required to do anything. You can order as little or as much as you want a month. Um, we do recommend that you try to stay around that 100 PV mark so you are commission qualified. Um, let's see, then once you, I guess I'll go through this order. So add to your order. We'll just add the triplex down here and it'll go into this shopping cart here. So you click on the shopping cart and it'll say convenience order at the top. You will see what you added in there. 
and then you can go to um, save changes up here it has uh, it's processing on the eighth of the month so it sets it up for the date that you are on it will set it up for the next month so if you go in here to edit you'll see it's it's set up for June 8th but you can change it to any day you want you could change it to ship out Wednesday or whatever um, and then just hit submit and it'll change the date and then you click save changes make sure you click save changes because that's the only way it gets saved and then it'll tell you that your convenience order has been saved okay so we can go to shopping and convenience orders again and you will see this is the new one that we just set up for the 25th of the month for 101 PV um, you can edit these you could um, edit the ship date, you can edit the products, you can click X and delete it. Um, so we're gonna do that, I'll yes, delete my order, and it'll say convenience order deleted. <clears throat> you can go to the convenience orders and you'll see I only have one convenience order in there now. So that's a little rundown of how to do that. I would suggest anybody who does not have a convenience order on, go in and get that set up today, okay? Under account services, we have all of our website, um, information you can change your settings or your contact information when you signed up for plexus they automatically set up a replicated site for you that you can share with your friends and family to order products directly under you so you could get paid commission or earn a little bit money bit of money back towards your um, next purchase or you can transfer it directly to your bank account too it doesn't have to go directly towards your purchase um, account information is where you're going to manage your credit cards, change any personal information like billing addresses, things like that, shipping address. Um, under the membership, you'll see there's the Plexus Pay Portal. This is really important that you set up so you get paid those commissions. So anything over 100 PV that you are spending a month, so if you, like this convenience order is set for 130 PV. So I would get paid on that 30 PV that's over 100. The first 100 always goes back to Plexus and then you get paid on anything over that and you'll get paid 15% back. So that's another way to just get a little bit back um, into your pay portal, but you need to make sure you set up that pay portal. And usually you have to wait about 24 hours after you sign up, you should get an email stating that it's ready to be activated and set up. Um, and you can enter your bank account information and have that um, set up to auto transfer or however you want to handle that. Or the money can just stay in your pay portal and you can automatically apply it to your shopping cart too. So then next we have the tools category and we have a library and this is where you'll find frequently asked questions, you'll find information on our comp plan, uh, just different things like that. There's a lot of information on the individual products, like frequently asked questions about slim or probiotic, things like that. Um, and then the shareables tab, this is a new tab that they just added last year at convention and our graphics design team is amazing. They have our new, um, I'll just click on it real quick. They have our new catalog back there. So you can digitally share that with somebody. And what's cool is it automatically will link back to your replicated site. So they can go directly to your site to order and shop. There's also different graphics that you can use, um, different promotions <clears throat> that you can share on Facebook and graphics and things like that. So that is an awesome resource. We have a training tab, has some back office training videos that you can work through so you can learn a little bit more about the back office. Um, communications is just where you're gonna get messages from directly from Plexus. Your reports, this is really important for anybody who is working the business or who has maybe a couple customers under them even. Um, this is where you will see your, I'll show you, the two main reports that I use are detailed genealogy, <clears throat> and the detailed genealogy is going to be all of your wholesale ambassadors. So anybody who's joined your team wholesale either as a customer or they're working the business are going to show up in your detailed genealogy and that's going to have just like an excel spreadsheet kind of of all of those people and you can see if they have their convenience order turned on you can see the date they joined you can click on their name and see their order history and track their um packet track their track their shipping for their packages um look up their website information all that kind of stuff there and then the customer report is going to be pretty similar to that except it's just for your retail and preferred customers so they kind of show up in two different places and in the customer report you're going to be able to see when those people joined you can click on their names and see their orders 
and also track their packages. And I guess I didn't show you that really quick. Under the shopping, there is an order and package tracking just for your own orders. <clears throat> And you'll be able to see like my most recent order was for the new Plexus and you can click on the tracking number and it'll say, you know, when it's scheduled for delivery and when it's shipped and all that sort of stuff. And you can do that for yourself and all of your customers. Like I said, um, that's basically all the reports. The other one that you would check probably more often is the commission summary. That's where you'll be able to see what your paycheck is for the month. Um, and then we'll just pop back out to the dashboard. Um, also down here in the qualifications, you can see your order history and your pack, your tracking numbers. So that's another quick, quick way to get to that. Um, I guess that's about all for now. In the back office that you guys need to know to get started, <clears throat> I would really encourage you to just um, log into your back office if you haven't done that already. Familiar, familiarize yourself with the back office and these different um, tabs that we kind of went through today. If you do not have your convenience order on, I would really recommend setting up a convenience order to get started. Um, just to be consistent with your products and also to make sure that you're commission qualified. So let, let us know if you have any questions about the back office. I know that was just a brief overview, but I hope you guys took some useful information away from it. So thank you.